Hello everyone, Joe here and we're back in another video and a new kind of video thingy majiggy for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a let's play of this game, which I was going to say amazing but I don't know anything about it yet. I haven't really played it much. Um, I played like a few minutes of it just to see if it was working and the graphics were fine and it wasn't lagging and all that awesome stuff. And yeah, and I am a huge fan of the Ghost Recon series. I mean, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, well, well, 2 was the last one I played. But I remember playing the first one back in the day. You have no weapon. Well, you have weapons, obviously, but you don't have like a weapon, like a 3D model of a weapon. It's just the crosshair. So uh, I remember that when I used to play that. And that was a really great game. And obviously it's changed up a bit since then. It's more level based now and a bit more cinematic, but it still looks awesome. And I'm looking forward to play this game. So um, I'm gonna jump straight into it. Press the any key. Uh, no, 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 I, don't, I just wanna go campaign. And as you can see, I had a quick go of the game, but I'm gonna restart again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just do veteran because I'm just so amazing. <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm not amazing at this game at all. Um, so yeah, as you said, I had a quick go of the game, I did like a few, maybe a mission or so, and I just wanted to see, you know, make sure it's working and stuff, but I'm really looking forward. This is the PC version, by the way, so hopefully graphics will be nice and clean and just awesome. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward, I don't know why I didn't get this game in the beginning. Uh, for cutscenes, guys, I'm going to be quiet and let you watch the cutscene, obviously, if you want to see them. Uh, spoiler alert, obviously, but, you know, that's down to you. Uh, maybe you just want to listen to the commentating, but for the cutscene, I'll be quiet. Let some of you guys listen in, because uh, I've seen videos before where people are talking over the cutscenes. I'm just like, I want to see the cutscene. I want to listen. So, yeah. Obviously, we've got these little tips here. Oh, here we go. Okay, guys. I'll be quiet. Thingy thing. As you can see, graphics are nice. I can see already. I'm looking forward to playing this. I like this um, tactical, like cover to cover kind of gameplay as well. I've always been a big fan of that. That's why I like armor. All right, let's move. So, as you can see, you have to run quickly and take cover. Target. Reloading. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Oh, look. Oh, that was a bad guy. Target. They're incredibly weak. Maybe it's just like the prologue thingy. Copy, Predator. Get a feed on that cargo. We'll verify from here. Roger. Form up on me. Eyes up. Okay. I don't want any surprises. I like this view. Griffin, you reading this? <laughs> Roger, we're capturing. We'll do a comparison to be sure, but it's looking good. Copy that. What the hell? Predator, get out of 
there. Oh, get clear! Get clear! Get clear! Holy crap. Whoa. Imagine that in real life. There's no way you would be able to hold onto that rock there. And then this shit falls down. Oh. Ah, that's hard. No. Yeah. Jesus. There's no... As soon as that stuff hits you, you'd just let go. That was, Traditional belief, a ghost is a manifestation of the dead. They remain in the physical realm to avenge, help, or punish the living. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. I hope my mic is close enough to my face. I'm, I had a, I had a, ooh. I had a problem where my mic. If I put my mic like right next to my keyboard, the wire gets in the way of the keyboard, so I can't play. So I'm hoping it's okay there. Um, I'm gonna try and talk up a bit. Ah, oh, stupid thing. Mm. Oh, anyway, sorry. Okay, some weapons have attachments like a grenade launcher. Now, one of the big things about this game is um, customization. I've heard like you know you can edit your guns up. I saw like at E3, uh, they had like a Connect, where you know they pulled apart the weapon and they swap bits around. That is that is just badass. I, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, come on. Alt is to go prone. That's funny. An odd key. Oh, here we go, guys. Major, gentlemen, we loading up. When we're done here, our unit's never been hit this hard before. Why don't you just take a minute, share a word, say a prayer if that's your way. We're good to go, sir. All right, then. Let's go get these sons of bitches that did this. Details will be on your MRTs. The bomb that killed our men was headed for our southern border. They paid a steep personal price to stop it. But that's the cost we choose to bear for our nation. The cost that Ramirez, Allen, McGann, and Haynes chose to pay on our behalf. Their sacrifice was not in vain. Let's just make sure we don't have to make the same one again. That bomb had to pass through a lot of hands to end up where it did. One of the men in the chain, Gabriel Paez, wants to come in. The Paez is a mid-level drug runner, and a new kid on the block in gun running. Sounds like he bit off more than he could chew, and now he wants out. He claims he didn't know the bomb's target. Blah, 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 I don't care. Paez is a loose thread. Time to pull. Okay, guys, here we go. So, looks like we've got the briefing here where we get told the location, the mission name and the extract the objective obviously which is extract that guy let's hit next here a sensor picks up hostiles and pipe the intel back to your hud just throw it out where you think the bad guys are hiding it's pretty neat it's pretty, pretty goes classy plan, you won't have to do much oh, is this the, yes this is so you know the means. take extra ammo if it goes down you'll want versatility and tight fire control i recommend a goblin with a red dot scope so yeah, this is the um, the customization I think. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry, I had to pause the video for a second there, just to go downstairs for a sec. Uh, when we were last thingy, we were customizing the gear, where we can edit our guns apparently. So here we go. This looks like the gun that I should be using, I think. Now, how do I split it into pieces? There we. Go. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. And obviously, we can switch. I'm not going to do anything to it because this is how it's set. But that is cool. I like this. I think that's one of the biggest features of this game, really. That's really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and start the mission. I want to. Ah, I can't wait to play this game. 
I remember seeing like in a demo from E3 or something, and they were like snipers and they were invisible. Oh, it's just such a good game. Um, hopefully, anyway, I still haven't played much of it. So yeah, come on. Oh, these loading screens are a little bit long. Oh well, it's worth it. I like you see the thing I like about these games is the you know tactical um, approach you meant to take. You can make your own decisions, I guess. That's what I remember in Advanced Warfighter Two and definitely Ghost Recon One. Okay. <laughs> oh, ho. That guy's day just got a hell of a lot worse. <laughs> oh my god. G17 or G18. Overlord, this is Hunt. Anyway. We're at the rendezvous, but no sign of the package. Copy that. What's the situation? Messy. House is ransacked. Paez must have bugged out. Understood. We'll track his cell and try to get a fix on him. What do we do in the meantime? Keep our eyes open and get ready to do some hunting. Hunter, Overlord. Dope, 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 dope,